hey my friend today we're going to talk about content you need to be creating content but you know there's so many different platforms so many different things you can do what is the content that you need to be creating on the different platforms is it video is it audio is it images is it text what do you need to create and what are the limits what are the maximums what are the sizes what are all this stuff you need to know if you want to be promoting or not promoting but creating content on different platforms you want to be omnipresent you want to generate income you got to build a fan like we talked about yesterday a fan base you got to build a tribe so to do that you got to create content so what do you do what do you create so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so you've got this in your hand a phone that you can create content on and you can post on you can do things and take your phone and say hey how's it going you can create live videos you can create disappearing stories and you can post images you can take a picture of something right I can take a picture of my self right here like this and I can post that right on my social media and I don't know if I probably should have started that up before but if I go and I look at this picture that I just took right now which is I can just show you so this picture I just took right now right which is a picture of my screen with my video right there and you can see my phone too <laughs> with the thing on the back right I got a I got this thing in the back uh well you just saw it right now as I took the picture right but that's a picture that I created that I can then share on social media so that's one thing you can do is you can just take pictures on your phone you can just do videos and you know I can do that right now I'm actually going to do actually I I you know what today I'm actually going to be publishing two different episodes because yesterday I ran out of time I wasn't able to actually create I did most of my creation but because I started working out in the morning I wasn't able to create my content I wasn't able to create my episode and the whole thing but yeah so by the way if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go to cis287.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post right okay so we're going to talk about the different contents now one of the things that you need to be doing if you're trying to build a business online you're trying to generate income you're trying to get sales for your course you're trying to build an audience you need to be creating content right you need to be engaging but you need to be creating content okay so what do you do what do you do do you just do one kind of content and that's it yeah you could do that right you could learn to ma master videos you could learn to master images you can learn to master text you can learn to master one thing and just do that right and you do that every single day and you post that on different platforms that allow it like for example you can create an image and you can share that on Facebook on Instagram on LinkedIn on Twitter even on Snapchat and on TikTok you can share images on all those platforms right and if you want to share an image with text depending on how much text you have well there's different platforms that allow different lengths of text like on snap on Twitter for example you can't put you know 500 words in, in a piece in in your description of your image right you can you can't post an image plus 500 words there's a limit of 280 characters in in Twitter right so you got to respect that so what do you do do you create just image posts with just 280 characters and then share that everywhere because that's well you could do that but you know the thing is that your content if it's not kind of you know massaged for the different platforms right that's going to affect how people interact with you right if they know that you're just taking the content from one other place and posting it there because they can tell that's limiting because of that they might not necessarily like that right so I mean that's the thing you gotta you gotta have different kinds of content so you gotta learn the different now I'm not saying you gotta learn that all right now right it takes a while to learn all those different things right okay so let's go and share let me let me just share my screen let's just go into the, all that let's go here let's go let's go share my screen okay so 
when you're in Facebook right in Facebook obviously you can share an image like Anthony did here you can share uh so here another image from Cynthia a video here from uh from Mark Lalonde and another image so I mean and the thing is that whenever you look and there's an image from me the thing is you can see text right there's text that you can post so whenever you're so yeah so in Facebook one of the things is you can basically can share any image size or resolution if you will or or format and one of the things that uh that one of the things that's different say for example in Instagram right in Instagram you can share images of different sizes but the preferred format in Instagram is a square image right so they have a square image format which is 800 by 800 2000 by 2000 the resolution is another thing that matters in terms of quality right because if you look at if I want to take this picture here um and I want to share it and I just share a, a 60 by 60 image right it'll still I can still do that right uh, um I don't know if on Instagram if I can I can't really I mean if I take this image here right and if I just do a, a screen cap for example right of an image I just go here and I'm just going to take the corners here that's obviously not the right thing to do but let me just do that like this right and then if I go into my um paint here yeah let's not worry about this let's paste that in here let's uh, just just do that so I paste that in here that gives me an image that is 605 by 601 okay let me just resize that to uh be there let's just go like this and I'm gonna re I'm gonna resize that as let's say 570 by oh I guess it's 568 568 just to make it equal right I make the image equal let's just zoom in a bit so you can kind of see it now I can take this image and again I can change the resolution like say for example I go in here I resize I just say I want to have 100 by 100 so now the image is 100 by 100 right that just means that it's it's got a lower resolution so it'll be a smaller image size but if I zoom in you can see that it's quite granulated right so if I was to share that on Instagram it would look awful right let's see how you can't even tell what that there's a person there right zoom in a little bit more so you see how it's pixelated right if I was to take that image and share it to Instagram it would look awful right you want to have good quality so that's the reason why you need to know the resolutions but just so you know if you have the big the more resolution you have in a picture like you know you know whenever you take a picture uh, they talk about uh, four megapixels or 16 megapixels or 24 megapixels or that that is a measurement of how many dots are in the image like if you look at this right now you look at this image right here you can see how there are like so can I, I can't really zoom in more you can see the the that the they're like it's called pixelated right it's pixelated they're little squares you see how these little squares so that little square that's right here underneath my little crosshair mouse there that's a little square that's a certain size and that's that's basically because it's 100 by 100 there's there's a hundred you know rows of things across this across this way on the image and a hundred down this way because I I said I want 100 by 100 can you see that down there let me just I said I want to oh whoops wrong one uh, let's move it up I said I want 100 by 100 see how it says 100 by 100 down there so that image is 100 by 100 pixels the, 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 so that's <laughs> in number of megapixels it's, all it is is just the math <laughs> if I do this I say 100 by 100 whoops 100 times 100 so that's 10,000 pixels which means 10k pixels that's not even one megapixel you know when we talk about 24 megapixels that kind of thing so if I was to uh re change that back to the original resolution whoops that I had earlier which is 560 by 560 so that is where's my calculator what happened to my calculator Did I close it oh okay so if I do 568 
568 by 568 that's 322k it's not even one megapixel either so this is not a very this is not a this is also not a good quality picture because see if I zoom into it you can still see it's pixelated quite a bit right whoops let's just let's scroll down to the, the my daughters there see how this this is still pretty pixelated right you can't really tell who that is really right I know or you might know because it's my daughter but you can't really tell right because you can see there's eyes there and a mouth and whatever you can see it's a person but you can't see who it, who it really is right so that's the other thing so whenever you're choosing your content that you want to post depending on the platform so Instagram is one of those platforms where the quality of your image is much more important than other platforms right so your 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 images so what so what you know we I'm talking about in this in this episode we're talking about knowing the types of content to post on each platform right so I'm talking about you know images I'm talking about videos and audio and text right so those are the really and then there's maybe maybe subtitles can kind of a, as maybe as a content so whenever you're thinking about you know Facebook Instagram LinkedIn Twitter Pinterest uh TikTok even or Snapchat or 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 even your blog or um or YouTube right so all those platforms have different requirements for their posts so if I just let's just say I say what is best post type for Facebook I don't even know right let's see what if what comes up so key take going on video performs better than all other types on Facebook posts so that's actually a good point I mean obviously you want to look at all these different things you can read up on all these things you can see what people are saying but I do I do kind of tend to agree with that video is one of the things that Facebook is really pushing uh even though they're not traditionally they weren't originally the video platform it's YouTube right but they're still saying here right this person here buffer somebody on buffer Facebook marketing 2019 I guess it's a I guess this is a buffer it's actually a buffer uh, blog post where they talk about the fact that when it comes to taking your Facebook strategy to the next level there's no better way to do so than through the use of video content on average video posts on Facebook get at least 59 percent more engagement than the other post types so I'm not sure how how true that is in terms of you know my uh current strategies or the kinds of things that you should be posting on but if I look at say if I do Instagram right here Instagram right so if, obviously <laughs> Instagram is going to be uh, more of a but they talk about the type of content right <laughs> so DIY images uh in the images with the ideal video com visual com visual composition UCG images user generated content <laughs> is the biggest thing in marketing right now so I guess I don't know what that means nine types of images this is addespresso.com and then the, another blog what to post on Instagram uh let me see um what to post on Instagram 11 types of Instagram to get results 11 posts uh, actually that's not really what I want to do I want to look at um I want to look at uh, not the best post okay so what type of post what type of content should you post on Instagram right so the type of content I don't know if that's show off your product posts high quality pictures and videos or products uh that's not I don't <laughs> oh this is a Shopify obviously on a blog that talks about selling stuff they're going to tell you to post pictures of your product <laughs> that's the last thing you want to be doing if you're trying to build your your audience if you post say you're trying to generate income from your courses if you post if you're constantly posting pictures about your course that is a terrible terrible idea by the way don't be doing that you can try it if you want but I'm I can pretty much guarantee you that you're going to get awful results from that people are going to stop following you they're going to think you're just there to sell stuff that's not what you should be doing you should be posting things about you building your personal brand getting people to know like and trust you getting people to uh, comment on your stuff engage on your stuff you need to be engaging with their stuff too and all that right all that's obviously anyways I'm just that's just my take but if you're trying to build a brand 
you shouldn't be posting your product pictures and things like that on Instagram so I'm just trying to find the the, the image let's just say okay well that and then I guess that kind of goes to show how it's not obvious and easy to figure out what kind of content you should be posting now what I'm what I'm going to tell you is that if you're posting on Facebook you got to be posting images once in a while of you so here's here's the other thing if you're trying to build your brand your personal brand you're trying to use attraction marketing and get people to know like and trust you so that they'll eventually buy from you and you're trying to build a tribe which is what I teach that you need to be doing you need to be posting images right like see Candace over here she's posting a picture of just herself just looking at her computer or whatever it is that she's doing right there right um and you got pictures people posting a picture of their car dashboard I mean this is Yvonne she's talking about a, her odometer thing that it lasts in 2013 she could <laughs> have the day's date pretty much every day on her car dash on her car odometer so people post things like that you post things like that that are related to you right so this is Christine posting a pictures of her daughter doing some Christmas shopping right um so you post things about yourself post things to, so people get to know who you are what you're about right that's my that's actually my sister and that's I believe that's is that Jean not sure oh oh wow these are my cousins <laughs> these are my cousins when the, probably like well I guess that'd be like 30 40 years ago uh, but anyways yeah so and then this is a picture of me and my uh and then some Christmas stuff and you know whatever so uh, oh right on Facebook okay so here's the thing on Facebook if I post here's the thing you go and pay on Facebook you, you click the thing to post right you can start typing I'm doing my episode number 287 is it I don't remember already 287 yes 287 right now right whoops let's fix that right now so that's that's text I just post that right I could just post that but the other thing with Facebook is you can actually go you can click on this to get photos or videos right you probably already know this but I'm just going to kind of go through this you can click on this to tag people in your post you click on that it gives you your list of your friends you can select them right by by doing this or you can just uh you know search for them like this right if I just go put a name it'll show me the marks and that are in my list right um and then so by the way you can tag friends in your post or in your image if you're posting an image with ha which has a picture of you know somebody's face in it that can show up as an image that they're tagged in and that's different than being tagged in a post because in Facebook there's images of you right so images of you aren't images that are that the tag the post is tagged of you right and that's a Facebook thing you can also do this feeling feeling thing right I can say I'm feeling happy right and it'll show happy um and this shows right here is feeling happy right whatever feeling you put in this is the check-in so you can actually specify a, a location that can, can be a business can be a, a, a city can be a, a natural you know place you've been to before but you can also say I want to find let's say I want to put in um clouds clouds red and what is it called red and white yeah so this is a, a this is actually a corner store that's not far from here so that's why it shows up because it's not too far from where I'm at it goes by your location right <laughs> so you can type almost anything it'll find where it is now the thing you gotta remember is that if you check in your post is going to show up in that particular pages posts right you're going to be able to see your your people are going to be able to see your picture and things like that so you got to be a public post right public post friends friends accept the default is friends uh, by the way you should be posting public on Facebook because if you're in business you want people to know who you are whether they are friends or not you want them to be able to go look at your profile because they might see a, a post of yours say in a group or something right so you want them to be able to see <coughs> your <coughs> you want them to be able to see your uh, your posts and know who, what you're about whether they want to connect with you or not right so that's why you want your post to always be public I post my posts always public um okay so then the other thing is a gif which is uh you know fun things that you can use in a gif 
right? you can put that in in there it becomes an image that's part of your um part of your post right <laughs> that's a funny gif <laughs> she looks like she she's she's found something funny right <laughs> anyways I can take that out okay now there's the three little dots on the side that gives you all the different other things you can do too so you can actually do a well I guess on the phone you got more stuff because on the phone you can also do a 3d picture you can do I don't know what else can I do on the phone <clears throat> that's uh it's been a while I haven't posted uh, if I go here on your phone oh yeah look at that on your phone let's uh, just go to the webcam here whoops where's my mouse yeah so on your phone right whenever you're posting you also got the create room right there and you got camera which you can use your your camera right on your phone right and if I if I scroll all the way up here I can see more stuff even more stuff you can see background color uh you can ask for recommendation do a live video which is something there you can sell something a 3d photo watch party host a q a wow and then raise money right so now those are not all oh there is raise money on here raise money's there watch party oh watch party yeah watch party's there too um so I guess the stuff that's not that's on your phone that's not on your desktop is 3d photo sell something is not there um or maybe maybe when you start typing the sell something goes away let me see if I type the same thing here doing episode okay and if I tap this yeah the sell something's still there I guess so <clears throat> I don't know what the, uh, the background color is this is it all oh, right the background thing is the you know you can you can change this right to something else right you can change that that's something you can't do on your desktop right so that's the background color thing uh okay so now the other thing is if you want to use your Facebook post and share it on other platforms you could do that right I could go and let's say okay so let's just do that let's just close uh, I think my computer's giving me a hard time again okay so it's back okay so <clears throat> Uh, oh I forgot to share the screen okay sorry so if I'm doing this right I can actually uh, close this it'll still be there right it shows up still right there because I haven't but if I reload the page reload it tells me that the this is going to be lost I just say yeah fine that's fine don't worry about it go ahead and reload and okay so if I want to okay I'm just going to post from here on my phone two episodes today so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to change that to uh, here I'll just put that like this on my on my post right so I'm just going to post that so when I post it I'm just going to post it like this right so now I'm posting it and if I go back see so you see it's posted now right if I go here and I just go to my own page here now I can see it's on here right so it's on here now I could do a share I could go share and I want to share that to uh something else uh share to to no I guess you can't do that from here I, on your phone can you more options yeah so that's the thing right on your phone right on your phone let's go back to the full webcam so you can see what I'm doing here I'm just going to go back here webcam. so on your phone right on your phone whoops let's just cancel okay on your phone right I posted that on my phone right so down the bottom you can see if the screen can update here and see down there there's a share right so I can tap the share thing and that'll load up basically the same stuff right share to your story your page story send a message or share to group and then there's more options which you don't get on the desktop right I click on more options it loads up this share on um, and it depends on your phone obviously but there's a you know on newsfeed gmail chat 
and then there's there's other things right I can share to other apps whatever apps I have on my phone so like on Pinterest for example I can even share on Pinterest share on I guess you can't share so I can't see for example I can't share on Instagram right so let's say I wanted to share this on Instagram what do I do what do I do so there's a couple of things you can do first you can take <clears throat> you can take a screenshot of that and share it and, the, and the, probably the better quality will come from your phone so in my case on my phone I just double tap that does a screenshot that uh, all the phones are different so then I'm going to edit it right I load my editor up right here whoops it's my editor I can do different things on it and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take the part of I'm just going to scroll I'm just going to ca crop it what you call cropping right and I'm just going to do that like this right I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to save it so now I have this picture saved as a picture right and I'm just going to go out to uh, Instagram so I just go to Instagram and I just say plus right and then I just say newsfeed I share that here I share that here how's your day going so there so I'm going to share that here so I'm going to just sh share that right over here okay so now I've shared it to my Instagram and if I go to Instagram let's share the screen again uh, there so if I go to my Instagram right here and I reload this page now you can see I've got this shared right here on my Instagram right now obviously I'm not saying you should be doing that this is just kind of a way to share an image one of these text posts from Facebook into your Instagram you can do it that way right the other thing uh, and then of course you can do the same thing in, in LinkedIn because it's an image right okay so now I don't uh, we're already 27 minutes in I'm sorry I didn't really get that much into all that but so uh here's a here's another important thing so videos videos if you want to share videos across different platforms I highly recommend that you don't share the full video on Facebook just upload it to YouTube this is what I do right I upload my full video my 30 minute video to YouTube and then I create a shorter version of that video for uh for for Facebook for LinkedIn for Twitter for Instagram I I create a shorter video like for example on Twitter you can't do a video longer than two minutes now you could share the link to your YouTube video if you want it but I wouldn't recommend that because that is, that's not what the platform wants the platform wants native content so what you need to do what you need to know is that the maximum is two minutes 20 20 seconds right so you got to take your long video and you got to find a two minute uh, block in there and then <laughs> and then create a post that tells people that if they want to go you know see the rest of the video they could go uh to your YouTube or to your blog post right so that's kind of what I do I I put in the video that they should go to this this post uh to go find the rest right I do the same thing with with Pinterest Pinterest maximum is 15 minutes um in, on LinkedIn the maximum is 10 minutes right so those are the three uh limits that I know of on on TikTok it's one minute but TikTok is vertical video versus you know horizontal so you might want to do a different video for your TikTok which I which is what I do and uh but yeah you got to learn the different the different things on the different platforms one of these days I'm probably gonna have to do a specific training on each of the different platforms I do have a course on LinkedIn for example uh which I did kind of show how to create your your um uh the the best practices for your profile that's actually a free course I have I do have a paid course though like not that expensive for uh how to grow your connections uh, like a thousand connections a month I've got a course on LinkedIn on that and you know there's lots of different things that I've been learning over the last five years that I'm I'm I'm, sh I'm teaching I'm showing you how to do it right so by the way tonight 
I'm doing a zoom a live zoom session if you're interested in doing webinars and you want to learn how to do the perfect webinar I'm actually doing a zoom mastermind tonight at 7 p.m you know eastern you can always go to mm.perfectwebinarmaster.com to go and register there all right mastermind mm.perfectwebinarmaster.com per, all right we'll see you in the next episode have yourself a great day this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.